We're currently located in the Center for Excellence in Post-Harvest Technology, which is part of North Carolina A&T State University's um, research uh, program. We have currently uh, four faculty in this center uh, that we currently house in, in the UNC Nutrition Research Building here in Kannapolis, North Carolina. We're currently focusing on post-harvest technologies, which is four areas. One is food safety and microbiology. The second is functional foods and bioactive compounds. The third is food processing and engineering. And the fourth is packaging engineering and product development. We hope to increase, one, the shelf life of foods, which means reducing the pathogens or the spoilage microorganisms on the surfaces of fresh fruits and vegetables, as well as other foods. But the main focus is to ensure that we have a safe and wholesome supply of food to consume. In this lab, which is a microbiology laboratory, we're currently focusing on uh, several pathogens, which is E. coli 0157A7, Listeria monocytogenes, as well as Salmonella, and uh, Streptococcus aureus. We are focusing on Streptococcus aureus in particular because we have found that uh, MRSA, which is methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, can be uh, found on the surfaces of fresh fruits and vegetables. That don't mean that they are not safe to consume, it just means that we have to find better ways to eliminate these pathogens on raw or unprocessed fruits and vegetables. The, the fact that we are able to collaborate with eight other institutions, uh, high caliber institutions of higher learning and education drew us to this, uh, this, this campus here on Kannapolis, in Kannapolis, and also the ability to be able to use this as a, a, an opportunity to train uh, our next generation of scientists is also enticing. We currently are working closely with North Carolina State University, their um, produce task force, we also work with several other scientists in our center, work with other scientists at UNC's Chapel Hill, North Carolina Central University, as well as uh, University of North Carolina Greensboro. The peanut research is something that Dr. Uh, Muhammad Magna has been working on for a, uh, quite a deal, a bit of time, and he has been focusing on trying to find a way to uh, silence or rather uh, reduce the hyperallergenic or hypersensitivity of um, the response that's associated with the consumption of peanuts, particular uh, peanut butter. We make up f four different areas, as I mentioned before, but not only do we have four different areas, but we have research support staff and staff that continue to make us one of the leading institutions in the area of, of research and higher learning, in particular, the four areas, food safety, microbiology, food engineering and processing, product development, as well as functional foods and bioactive compounds. Being in the center gives us an opportunity to continue to do cutting edge research, but also gives an opportunity to be at the forefront of the next wave of breakthroughs that are associated with uh, nutrition and human and wellness.